I'm on a break from work right now, but it's been a crazy morning already, I feel like. I feel like it should be Monday, but it's really Tuesday. <laughs> um, this morning for breakfast, I had, what did I have? Oh yeah, I had two pieces of whole grain toast with, it was a gluten-free kind from Trader Joe's that I put on, and it sounds weird, but it's actually a really great combo of sun-dried homemade sun-dried tomato hummus which i can show you guys the recipe if you would like that has no added oil to it it's fantastic um and then i put that on the toast with i did four scrambled eggs this morning do i need four eggs not no not always but your girl got her period today which means i'm extra hungry um and my body craves usually craves either like sweets or like fats on when I'm on my period and so I decided to just have the four eggs tracked it all in life some but I had that for breakfast um I'm still going strong with the the warm breakfast teas and lunch teas and dinner teas and before bed teas and hot water and I swear I'm noticing a difference it's crazy um but I just wanted to start off this week's vlog say hello welcome to the vlog <laughs> I'll be doing a workout, um, if not later today, then tomorrow, and I'll show you guys that. I've been doing a lot of at-home workouts uh, since this Delta variant is back. Um, yeah, been working out from home a lot more, but I've been able to do amazing workouts from right here in my bedroom. You're in my office right now, but if you turn the camera, you're in my bedroom as well. <laughs> and my gym. It's fantastic. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm able to work out a lot more and it, like get better workouts. So I'll be showing you that and taking you along with my week. I'm going to be able to eat for certain meals. I'm still doing intermittent fasting. This week, this past week was a little bit harder. I think the lead up to my period just causes kind of my hunger to go crazy. Um, but still going strong, still doing well. I'm down 15 pounds and feeling great. So... I'm going to get on with working and I will talk to you guys later.
just finished the workout super sweaty so i just finished my workout um hand sanitizer has been applied i thought in my head that i needed to you know get makeup on and set up a nice frame and everything to talk to you guys about like just where i am <laughs> with my journey um but i really don't feel like that um that just like doesn't feel right so i'm just gonna talk down this is totally off the cuff but um i feel like there's a level of openness that i'm like trying to find with you guys um and with vlogging and stuff that i used to share and i think because i still do have so much shame um that i'm working through because it, it it's not necessary <laughs> um that it's like it's like in my nature in the state i am currently in to like hide um but i don't want to <laughs> so yeah let's talk i really have not seen too much of a change in my fitness over the past few months um i've seen about a 15 pound loss which is great um however i have gone up and down <laughs> those 15 pounds and um that's really frustrating and my fitness is any better because i haven't been really putting in much work to be completely honest with you guys i'm doing so i'm doing i'm doing a lot of work a lot of healing work in therapy um and in a lot of other areas of my life but when it comes to my fitness i am when it comes to my fitness and like my physical health I'm really sick of how I have been treating myself. Um, I don't like the way that I have been living my health and fitness journey lifestyle. Um, I feel like I have been making excuses to myself and um, moments when I, you know, days when I could have gone up, gotten up and gone to the gym or just moved my body. I have chosen not to um, out of shame and depression and anxiety and I deserve better than that basically um, from myself I deserve to treat myself better um, I cannot expect anyone else to treat me well <laughs> Of course, everyone should be treated with human decency and everything, but, like, I feel, and I know this is really rambly, but, like, on my journey previously, like, before when I was around this weight or heavier, I would just long for the day that, you know, people would look at me differently or I would look at myself differently and, um that that and I don't know if what I'm trying to say is making sense I'm not talking about like my looks I'm just talking about like respect because I feel like when people love themselves and treat themselves well they are respected and not only by themselves but by other people because other people can see that energy and see that effort and I'm sick of not treating myself in the way that I deserve to be treated so that's a really roundabout way of saying that I'm just over it and I'm going to treat myself better. Yes, absolutely. The work I've been doing is exhausting um, and impactful and powerful and life changing. And I think that's incredible. And I think that that obviously garners some, you know, some softness and some kindness towards myself in terms of resting when I'm tired or whatever. But like, I'm just sick of that basically <laughs> and I want to change I want to change the way I look I want to change the way I feel physically um, and changing that will also change myself mentally um, I really hope this conversation is tracking <laughs> essentially I'm not where I want to be and I'm sick of not taking the steps that I need to to get to the place where I want to be um, and that's that <laughs> That's, ba that's like, yeah, basically what I am trying to say. Um, basically, I deserve better for myself. And I'm no longer just going to say that, but I'm going to take action. So, yeah. 
that's that workout is done i feel great i have not been in the gym in weeks probably yeah like weeks <laughs> you guys understand what i'm trying to say um i hope it makes sense <laughs> uh hopefully i'm not alone in this i know i'm not um but yeah treat yourself how you deserve which is you deserve the best we all deserve the best and I am taking actions to change the way I've been treating myself. So yeah, that's it. I will see you guys later. Um, I just finished work. We get to finish work sometimes early on Friday, which is very nice. On my way to the gym, um, to be honest, yesterday I told myself, I was like, hey, tomorrow I'm going to go to the gym before work. And Q 6 a.m. this morning, I was exhausted and having a really hard time just kind of like getting up and feeling motivated for the gym. So I slept in and I wasn't sure if I was going to go to the gym tonight, but I finished work and I was like, I still technically have like an extra hour of my day. I feel some energy, which I usually get kind of like an energy boost around like 4 35 o'clock. Um, and I was like, I feel energy. I don't have anything to do. And why not go to the gym and work out? Because I'm really wanting to kind of push myself and step on the gas. You can tell I've been watching TikTok way too much. Um, in terms of changing my body and um, getting to the place in terms of health and fitness that I want to be. So here we are. Some days go so fast. Some days just hold on to your mind. to end the, this vlog so editing Rizal coming at ya um I hope you guys like this vlog uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the kind of check-in um in terms of like my fitness again I will reiterate I hope it made sense I hope you guys understand like where I'm coming from because it can be complicated to navigate both the po body positivity space as well as the weight loss um space and I'm still figuring out my footing, but I am living my own truth. And that is that I am doing both, loving my body and being okay with changing it. So yeah, hopefully that made sense. I hope you guys liked this vlog. Let me know if you did. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget the only way to predict your future is to go out there and create it for yourself. And I will see you guys in the next video.